Welcome back, it's Brett Melangaida with Raise Your Value. This is video number two. In the first video, we talked about vision. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating a conducive environment for you to move forward and actually create that vision. Now, I know if I was in film school, I'd probably be getting an F minus for this lighting. However, hopefully if I was in English class, I'd get an A plus thematically because we're talking about elevating your environment. We're talking about changing the climate around you and I think that this view speaks pretty beautifully to that idea. Now, when we talk about elevating your environment, I wanna talk about three things. I want to talk about who you surround yourself with, I want to talk about what you surround yourself with, and I want to talk about how you interact and absorb the environment around you. First off, let's talk about the people you surround yourself with. Many of you have probably heard the phrase, you're the average of the five people you hang out with the most. What does that really mean? It just means that you're going to likely become what it is that you surround yourself with. You know, all boats rise with the tide, so you've got a vision. You've got goals, you've got things you want to achieve. What you want to do is start surrounding yourself with people that have done the things you want to do, people that have created the things you want to create, and people that you aspire to be like in one or many areas of their life. Not just hanging around with them, but picking their brain. You know, getting some of their strategies, getting some of their knowledge, understanding some of the systems and the processes they used to get where they are. There is so much information. There's a saying that everything you need is actually in your network already. Go find it, bring it closer. Number two, what you surround yourself with. This has become even more critical now in the social media age, where literally ideas, concepts, beliefs are flowing through our feed constantly. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and not just that, but media, television, books you read, newspapers, blogs, podcasts, all of it. I want you to start consider what you're putting in your brain. It's said that we have 60,000 thoughts a day, and out of those 60,000 thoughts, 45,000 of them are negative. 45,000 are saying, you can't do it, forget it, never gonna happen. Through the feed of your life, whether it's people, what you're reading, what you're seeing on TV, 45,000 things that are not propelling you towards what you want, but are actually knocking you backwards. Now for some people, that might be a little bit overwhelming. I'd say it doesn't really matter that much, and here's why because there's 15,000 positive thoughts, 15,000 things that are propelling you forward, and it's all about what you focus on. Look at it this way. Imagine if you walked up to a buffet, there were 60,000 items, 45,000 of them were junk food, right? Cakes, candies, sodas, stuff that's horrible for your body. 15,000 of them were healthy foods, vegetables, fruits, lean meats, things that are great for your body. Now, it wouldn't really matter that 45,000 items on the buffet table are bad for you, if you were to choose one of the 15,000, would it? So the takeaway here for you is to understand how important focus is. If you're gonna to start to elevate your environment, change your climate, it's not just about actually changing what's around you, it's also about changing how you see what's around you. It's also about deciding what you actually focus on around you. My advice to you would be start brainwashing yourself because you're being brainwashed anyways. This feed coming through your life on a daily basis, those 45,000 negative thoughts that are knocking you backwards, you decide what you focus on. You start brainwashing yourself and being very consciously aware of what you're focusing on and what you're taking in out of your environment. So when we talk about what you're surrounded with, we're not just talking about literally what's around you and maybe in some cases changing the environment around you, but we're also talking about changing the way that you perceive it, choosing to focus on what matters, choosing to reframe things so that they actually fit and align with the vision you have for your life. This is gonna create a conducive playing field for you to start creating your vision. It's gonna give you a little bit of a home field advantage. But the real work is gonna be in how you play the game. And that's what we're gonna talk about in the next two videos. Some suggestions I'll make for you coming off this video. Think about some of the people that you wanna bring into your world. People that you wanna network with, get to know better. And also just consider where you're spending your time and with who, and is it actually in alignment with where you wanna go? There might be some tough choices in that, and that's okay. Pay attention to what's in your feed on a daily basis, and maybe remove some things that aren't in alignment with your vision. Also, what do you wanna learn more about this year? Make a commitment to reading, podcasts, articles, actually educating yourself in areas that are in alignment, again, with your vision, who you wanna be, and where you wanna go. And lastly, start paying attention to how you're experiencing your environment, what you're focusing on. Your environment does not have to change 
in order for your experience of it to change. And in many cases, we're in situations where the environment is not changing and we have no control over it. However, what we always have control over is how we experience it, what we focus on, how we reframe things, how we choose to see things. Work on that and start understanding that you don't have to be a victim to your environment. You can actually change your environment, elevate your environment without changing anything outside of you. As you finish watching this video, I will again make two requests. Number one, share some comments below. What resonated for you the most? When we talk about elevating your environment, changing your climate, what changes perhaps are you going to make specifically around who you surround yourself with, what you surround yourself with, and how you take in your surroundings? Secondly, if something in this video or the series so far has resonated with you, if you believe there's value for other people within your network, on your team, your colleagues, your friends, please share it. You can do it with a simple click, whether it's through social media or email. Spread the wealth. With that, I wish you an incredible day, and I look forward to seeing you again in video number three.